We are back in the kitchen here in this festive season. I know we are in the kitchen a lot mm. because this is the period of time that guys have their guests coming over. We're going up country. I mean, food is involved when it comes to the festive season. Mm, Now, I am absolutely loving the uh, recipes that Chef is putting up today. And I hope they've been helping you guys at home figure out what you're going to be making. See, see what got to water to the yam chow. Mama niya chef. All right. Now, I'm excited <laughs> about what we're making today, Chef. Yeah. And I know we're going to be joined by some guests who are going to help you prepare the meals today now guys if you're just joining us for the first time welcome to hot plate this is the land of super delicious and easy recipes now you can be able to find out every single recipe that we've made here on the show mm -hmm. that's by simply going on to youtube that's ebrew tv hot plate so that you can go step by step on everything that we've made here all right now chef who's joining us in the kitchen today okay so today two lovely ladies yes from Girls talking sports. sports. Yes. yes, girls Please talking sports. Join us Karibuni. on set. Come, come, come. Now we are excited because first off, mm. y'all gonna see these ladies. All right. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Fine. Good, good. Welcome to Hot Plate, Hi. Chef. Hi, how are you? Oh, fine. Welcome to Hot Plate. Hello. We're gonna ask you to kindly just have a seat right. because before we get to making you cook with us. We're just going to find out, and of course, our viewers at home are going to want to know exactly what is this girl's talking sports. Um, uh, okay. Yes. Hi, my name is Shigwan Shukri. Okay. But my real name is Amiri Wanjiko. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, my host here. Yeah, I'm Judy Throby. Yeah. Uh, those are my real names. Okay. Yeah, so we are the hosts who are Girls Talking Sports. Yes. It's a show that we came up with uh, okay. not long ago. Yeah. It's a recent show. Uh-huh. Uh, tumeyanza. Uh, meyanza. Na mulianza lini? Uh, uh, right now, we shoot like uh, one episode. Okay. No, two episodes. Yeah. So, not Hitambo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah. How has been the feedback so far? And why is it that you guys decided that girls are going to talk sports? Are you guys sporty? Um, basically, me, yes. Yes. I'm sporty. Sana. Eh. And um, so far, the feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Highest percentage ni wajama. Okay. Because <laughs> una jua jama wengi ndo nakuanga kwa sports. Mm. Yeah. So what we so we, we, when we start with Roby, tuliona most of the time watu wana focus na hizi teams established. Mm. Uh, the sita mention names, mm. but kuna hizi talents ziko huku chini and Ikweli. games ziko huku chini zenye watu wajajua bado. Yeah. So tuka come, tuka sema ni aje, juu pia wajama wako kwa mbun sana kwa ifili. Mm. Let us do the unusual. Yes. So tuka come up na hiyo sports and then tuka infuse na little bit of comedy. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ile ya tumeka tu hivi, <laughs> ball ni kazo waje. Yeah. That's amazing. Now, episodes. Like, if we're sitting at home and guys want to watch these episodes, how are they able to find that? Well, right now, mm. is pata online. Okay. YouTube, yeah. uh, XLNC. Okay. Excellency in bracket. Yeah. Uki, uki, uh, type that, you'll get them online. Okay. Yeah. Now, How has been your experience so far in terms of unasema ngo naenda ngana ile talents iko huko chini wasiojulikani what are some of the sports ambazo wa Kenya wajui ziko in Kenya right now So like the other day we shot kuna hii inajita uh, American football that is a very new okay it was there before yeah. but i haijajulikana sana mm. now this is something that i know even Kenyans wanaweza taka ku kuweza kujua yeah definitely yeah, yeah. there's american you, football being played here i'm sure there's those people who would be yeah. interested ata kucheza yeah 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 so, okay so you know with us tunajua tule football football <laughs> na mbio tunajua sisi tunajulikana na mbio so yeah so tuko na wacha pia tuweze kuelimisha even kenyans there yes. are other sports that yes. one is get involved nazo yeah. alafu pia madame the reason mm. we came up with the show is uh the girls talking sports mm. you you hear that our title is girls talking sports yeah ni sababu madame hatukwangi that into sports okay tunakuanga ile ya kama being a presenter makeup, makeup shopping yeah, fashion yeah. all that so yeah. tukasema wacha tukuje na a shop pia tuweze kuonyesha madame mm. we can do this that mm. it's okay to be sporty yeah. now mlisema mnasema sports huu chezanga sport gani uh basically mu cheza game ya kukula <laughs> <laughs> But I enjoy swimming most of the time. Okay. Na kutembea tu. Kutembea, yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, niki wa primary I, I played football mm. then uh, niki join high school there's this uh, group in Ajita Maisa yeah ya Madhare Youth uh, Sports Association. Okay. So I used to play for it for like um, not long. Maybe mm -hmm. I can say for like four years. Yeah. Then nikawacha unajile shule nini hey. juggling all that together. Yeah. Nikwa a bit tough. Yeah. So nikacha kidogo. Okay. But na kuanga, na I love sports. Yes. Ile kuangalia nini new iko kwa sports. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Now we support team gani? Manchester. Manchester. Yeah, Manchester oh, yeah. is my team. Ah, yeah, you know it, eh? <laughs> Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea is your team. Chelsea yeah. is your team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Chef, we're yeah. talking about Leo. Love to show you. Okay, so today we're making a baked red snapper. Okay. Company with some hollandaise sauce. Aha, uh -huh. and there is a sauce. Now, you know, if you have been watching the show, <laughs> Chef, you it's okay. usually very simple. Yeah. What does it comprise of? Uh, egg yolks. Yeah. Uh, we're going to use some lemon rind, yes. some lemon juice, and some butter. Oh, wow. And there's some seasoning. Oh, I love wow. you to take a It's going to thicken. Bass. It's going to be tangy. Mm. It's going to pour right on top Rafu. of that Goes well fish. with a fish dish. Absolutely delicious. Mm. All right, ladies, we're going to ask you to please tafadali now on Konopale. And right. of course, we are going to be making something that is always made during Christmas season. It's a gingerbread man, but we're just going to make a cookie and then decorate it. Mm. Now, this is usually fun to do. When you have a bunch of kids, this is what I normally do with my kids, is have cookies and then place some icing with different colors and let them have fun mm. decorating those cookies and it always brings sorry there you go it always brings family together you can doesn't necessarily have to be kids you can all join in the fun for dessert to decorate your own cookies there you go sorry, sorry. all right so we'll start with that so we can pop the cookies into the oven and then i'm going to ask the lovely ladies to decorate their own uh we can start with the butter all right, so we have a lovely knob of butter that's just gonna go in. That's about half a cup of butter. Now you can use margarine for this um, for this mixture. Takuliza wanza kui bonda bonda. All right. It's a bit hard because I did I didn't remove it um, early. Now room temperature is usually the best because you want it creamy. Mm. Uh, so we're just gonna ask to bonda bonda that. And then what we have here is some brown sugar. Now for this, I usually tend to love uh, brown sugar for these cookies. It uh, the molasses adds color, adds flavor. It just makes it beautiful. Awesome. One of you mentioned baking. I heard one of you <laughs> mentioned baking. Let me help you. That's Nani you bake? I mean, you bake. We'll bake. Yeah. We'll bake nini? Cakey, cookies. Yeah. To mikate hivi. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's nice. <laughs> Baking was Is it something that you tell them it's not as hard? Baking, it's so easy. Exactly. It's so easy. Yeah. All right, I'm mashing the butter just to soften it a little bit. Um, and then what we're going to do is now most people use for the gingerbread cookie, they use ginger uh, powder. Mm. But what we're trying today here on Hot Plate is we're going to use whole grated ginger. Now we've just got a teaspoon. Remember, it's going to be very, very strong so you don't on have that. To put a lot. You just don't have to put a lot. Exactly. And then I also took some of that lime rind that mm. a chef had made there. So we're just going to incorporate that in the butter. Why? Because I want it to mix, merge. I want the oils to come out mm. in the butter. You can already smell the ginger there, guys, yeah. can't you? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you to continue to mix that for me. All right, now um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some cinnamon. Cinnamon goes perfectly with this mm -hmm. um, So you're going to put mixture. it now or you're going to put it... I, I will be putting it in just a bit. I put it somewhere. Uh, All right, how are we looking there, ladies? Now, cookies, mm -hmm. you know, lazima utumi mikona at some point. So, yeah. yeah ina, ina kwama. We're going to add just a little bit more ginger. And this is going to add that zing. We have the lemon rind there. Now, this is a touch I'm also going to add, but I will be showing you shortly. I think it's softening quite well, yeah? Yeah. Let me help you take that out. Thank you so much, Chef. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just take this out. Can you, of melt, course, can you melt the butter? Uh, uh, you can melt the butter, but I usually prefer... Uh, now, I love melted butter for chocolate chip cookies, mm. but I usually prefer that you use the butter just as is. It's better that way. I think this is easier so it doesn't get stuck. 
All right, so we've got our ginger. You guys, you guys can smell that. Our ginger yeah. in there, it smells amazing. What we're going to do at this point is we're going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar. You don't want this to be too sweet at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you to just mix that up. Should I give you a muiko instead, yeah? Yeah. All right. Chef. Mm. How do you feel about baking now? The way you've seen me bake a couple of times, now I'm sure it's something that you can be able to do easily. Yeah, I told yeah? You usually do at home. Really. Yeah? Uh, All the recipes. Uh, yeah, new era. <laughs> 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 All right. Now, guys, new pata. How, how do you get the content on some of the sports? And, and what, what got you, or rather, what is usually your drive to be able to show the sports that is out here in Kenya? Um, about the content, yeah. you know, sports itself is a content. Yes. And yeah, to kicheswa, the content to me jipea. So, we will do the normal way I could report sports. One be two games, the cost of learning. Yeah. Ilicheswa, if you siku, now this is the score. Yeah. That's already when you kuanga. So, the place to look up, find in, could bring content, kid up with a comedy. No, Joey, you talk to you. I'm going to go to the mob. Then, I'm going to go to comedy. Yeah. So what we do mm. is we just uh, comedy is just a relief yeah. mm. from the from the so usual so sports. Di, too. Okay, so that's why comedy is like <laughs> bowling chairs. For instance, bowling chairs. Kuna kaki MC ana bonga apa na chocha ama yuko mbele ni gile wapi. Sometimes when to kenda kwa feel, to niza pata kama player. Assuming you're a player, then you see when you kuna kuna na as in kuna players or maju, then to niza kuna a question. Kama Mse wa maju, ah. ukiletu wa mtu, mse kama degea, ya. Uletuwe kama degea, unizamu, okay. unizamu, chapa, kitu yeah. kaiyo. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so most, you sit akushika hatu wenye kwa angi rada. Kwa zikuna mse kwa hapa, ana watch game. Yeah. Lakini muulize topic, iko inje, yeah. na sport. Ata answer, I think, sijui kama ni araka, ama yeah. ni anapulo. Yeah. So si upatawa se, okay. awana rada. Kwa like, there's a time, niluliza mse, kusu uko chua Arsenal, mm. timi yako. So, how could you coach? You could join a player on Azari. Yeah, you can have a minute as a and stuff. So, it's like Unai, Unai is an, uh, he's a new coach mm. for us. Yeah, Unai, yeah. yeah so, was a wingy on Jui. No, but a wingy on a wingy on a chess of football. So, to ask you, Kilam Tumunya of football and a Jua was a wafutata wa maju. Yeah, yeah. So when you go asking such a question, you know, I'm talking like, ah, uh, eh, neza penda kuja cheze club yetu. So you don't know the person. Lafu na juwa mkenya hivi sema, iyo si juwi. Iyo si juwi. Ah, na kamera iku hapo, ya ya kakujibu. All right, guys, we got everything incorporated in here. So to me ungeza flour. We're going to add a teaspoon of um, some cinnamon just to add that extra flavor in there. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is just incorporate that completely. And then we'll roll this out um, into a flat, lovely sheet and then just cut up. We have a cookie cutter. We're going to cut that up and that's it. All right, Chef, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and take over as I continue to knead this dough okay, and ask no the ladies what it is that they can help you with. Okay, so we're going to start with the mush. So we'll just cut up the potatoes, small <laughs> chips. Just roughly to see at the design. Anyhow, Chef, moja to yapa doe ingine. New picker. Yeah, new picker. Who are to bake, moja eno? New picker. Eh, ugali na skuma. So this way I'm just jaribu. Um, the mash with the with the fish. Yeah, ni shi jaribu. But not this recipe. Not this recipe. Do you recipe ako? You mix them, gather them. Yeah. So, <laughs> 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 very easy. To me, so fish, na kaugali tu apo kando. Oh, so yeah. yuzuri, aina mfupa, so tutaitengeneza tu hivo hivo tu. So, mleza tumukiza tu hizo viazi hapo ndani. Pole pole. Uh, pole pole, msichomeke. Now, other than the sports series, nisikuwa mmojo, mwenu wa kisema ati nini? Shule, and I know both of you are mothers. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please, yeah. ladies, look at these two mothers here. Slaying One mamas. of which, yes, <laughs> slaying mamas. Uh, slaying mamas. How do you keep in shape, and what else do you do other than, you know, the sports series? Well, uh, for me, mm. Nakonga, okay, we. Since we're any freelancers, yes. first of all, yeah. we, you know, the fact that we are doing that show, yeah. that is part of 
a job yetu yes, alafu I'm a student okay yeah part time yeah na pia I'm a mom yes <laughs> yeah how many two two boys or two no, girls two girls two girls yeah. how <laughs> how please let us know what the secret is <laughs> ni ku work hard ku work hard yeah <laughs> being sporty actually yeah, yeah to uh, cook with this fit yes. ni kwa too sporty ni kwa too sporty yeah all right how about you apart from girls talking sports um, yes miss isomi yeah in the meantime <laughs> that's okay kwa ni make a break mali yeah i bake okay i bake cookies and cakes commercially yes i also am a script writer oh wow yes for t a tv series yeah and then I'm a mom of one. Oh wow. She's four. Yeah. And about keeping fit, being my mom, you ni Jimmy. Ni Jimmy. Kimbi zana kama mtu hapo nyuma, you are up, you are down. You ni Jimmy. You keep fit to eh, you say ni Jimmy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to touch a little bit more on that, but before we do get in on on the on the cooking and the baking, let's go to the kitchen hack segment. We are back and this is Hot Plate. Happy holidays to you guys and today joining us are lovely ladies from Girls Talking Sports and it's Shiko and Robbie. Karibuni sana. Thank you. And today we're making some red snapper, baked red snapper with some hollandaise sauce. Unajua hollandaise sauce ni gani? Wewe unajua? Ume ume kula what's this what's this called? Uh, Claire, help me out. Yes. What's it called? What? The biscuit with the uh, poached egg. Um, be uh, eggs Benedict. Yes, we make eggs Benedict. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yellow sauce in Yeah, yellow is yellow. a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we're making that, and Claire is making for us a gingerbread man, which is no nope. gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread cookies. Yes, but we're gonna not make the man. man okay. Yeah, we're not <laughs> making the man today. Mold, no. How is the Ni mold kimse ah panasi leo. That's usually better with a cutter. Okay. Uh, but I won't be doing that today. We're just going to cut them round and then of course show different ways in which you can decorate your, you know, ah, also your the cookie. decoration is well. So uh, what you do for dessert is now when everybody's done eating, mm. you place the cookies there on the table. Then you place different colored icings mm. and then everybody can just have fun decorating their ah, own cookies. Nice. That's yeah. A, that's a good pastime. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So Claire, you're molding the cookies. Yes, definitely. Uh, we've already put the potatoes, so I think I can start with the fish, right? Okay. Okay, so we need a tray. And this is all going to the oven. Okay, everything is going into the oven today. Yes. Uh, now, ladies, what can they help you with so far, Chef, as you uh, prepare the, the foil? Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm. Uh, Muneza need dice here, just two lemons mm -hmm. around, and I'll use that later. Now, if you are just joining us, welcome to Hot Plate. As Chef said, we have been discussing everything sports with these lovely ladies. Of course, I fall... Sorry? Yeah. I fall in the category of ladies who are... I know the rules to sports. Uh, but I could not even bother uh, with it. So I don't know how many of you are very sporty at home. Uh, then definitely do take time to check out the series, which is Girls Talking Sports. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of women who are interested in sports. You know, especially it's not just going to watch rugby to, for the sake of just having fun. Yeah. It's knowing the rules when somebody does a knock on. You know, just basically everything. That's what I was yeah. interested yeah. about the American football. Yeah. Muli pataaji ya wasi. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, most of the time, tunapatanga connections. Uh -huh. So like her, uh -huh. anakonga na mabishti wengi sana. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, she makes calls. Alafu, uh, tunambiwa, maybe this time, um, ama siku flani, mm. the, kutakuwa na game, place mm. flani, so we go. Yeah. So, so you know, American football, walikuwa na equipment, ma helmets, nini, ama nile tu, tunajaribu, chetu. Yeah, they had, uh -huh. but uh -huh. tuwezi sema, well, ilikuwa il perfect, la, kama okay. the American football oh, yeah. itself. Yeah, because so, I know. Like, Key to the shoot, yeah. work on, uh, work on uh, the rest, but I want to come a helmet. Okay, so they have the body. Yeah, they whatever. have the body, yeah. but the helmet I want ah. yeah. yeah. That's, that's actually uh, better than having none, but see. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but you know. Yeah. Okay, so, kuna rough American. tackles because that's, that's you, the sport the need contact part. you. That's yeah. the risky part. Because mm. when mm. I was in Italy, I contact about covering the American football. Okay. I was a classmate, I was in your end. Mm. And then she, he was like, Shukwe would like you to cover. Their, their main point was to drive out their nini, mm. the, what they go through. Because okay. mm. ukiangala American football, wana kanyagana, wana mm. shana. Concussions, manze. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And kwa, helmet, and it, I, I felt bad because it's so risky. Mm. Uh, but the school doesn't have 
much uh, much fans mm. so they cried out walikuwa naona tuki view tuki cover mm. then in the end at least somebody yeah, somewhere kuna interest yeah, up anaweza come yeah, kana za sukuma vitu kadhaa yes. hata kama ni second hand yeah cuz wako nazo yeah. the, the, the helmets and the whole attire mm. wako nazo but ni imports ah. washa order from somewhere but hiyo mm. charges za ku import yeah, it's, it's pretty expensive yes yeah, so uh -huh. they just playing for the love hey. oh wow good for them yeah. Yeah. and what is the team called uh, for the UN, they are called Mighty Nyati. Okay. Yes. And then that day, we are going to be in a team Sparrows. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, do they have games that they hold that people can be able to see, especially guys at home who are interested, or even join the team? Uh, do they have like a social media page that can be able to reach them on? No, not really. Yeah. Because you see now, uh, that is where girls talking sports comes yes. in. Yes. Because uh, easy teams are chini, mm -hmm. unapata, they don't have anywhere pali waneza onyesha their talent. Their talent. Yeah, so, okay. so you see like, at a CC, we, we never knew that American football can exist. Exactly, UN. yeah. Yeah, so unapata, kama yo social media, we, we, we don't think they have a page so far because yeah. tunge kwa tumesha jua. Yes. Na, Kwa TV, we've never seen such a thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, nile, at least tukienda pale, yeah. tuneza now as a ku uh, ambia, yani sasa sisi. Yes. <laughs> Whoever that is watching that kuna such a game. Exactly. Yeah, in exist. It's absolutely amazing, guys. And of course, if you are interested, please check them out. Now, we're basically down to finishing our recipe. Chef mm -hmm. is going to show us what we're going to do with that lemon. What okay. do we do, Chef? So, we're going to... Yes. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> as a garnish. Now also, that's giving it that like um char kiasi to at we at we grill kapsati ya deve. I did potato your brown kiasi and that's at fey on gazako fish ju. I love to funika your fish vizuri. So you steam to do the fish your fish. Na uki friendimu how how to your flavor yake? Yeah. You're not losing it. No. Kwa sasa sasa una 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 fungo hizi hizi eh hizi ndio zina kwa ndani sasa zina zina kwa easy ya kutoa hizo flavor yake yote. So hata tu hata au hivi for long. Hizi vitu zilikam na meli manje. Eh. So hata uko upiki for long. Hapo tutazie kato hapa. Kama kuna mtu anaendelea na hiyo zingine tujaribu. All right guys, mshayona hii, Miss Jai ona ku fry ndimu. Hata imagine madhe umeingia kwa kitchen nimeanza ku fry ndimu za madhe hapo. Eh, no ma. Kwa sana. Sana. So, uh, for the fish. We're going to use your gopa to me a foil mob because what we're going to do, to take a fish katikati and then we'll make like a parcel yani. So it it ivisha na steam yake ndani. Oh wow. Do you ve evenly? Okay. What we're going to do, mm -hmm. tutai weka na herbs zote ndani. So wapa tuko na basil, na kila tuju. Tuko na basil leaves. Eh, tuko na lemon grass. This is maiza. Eh, hizo na zatoa. Kuna lemon grass hapa, uki kata tu katikati. Aha. Lafu, this other one. Afu kenyo nataka, ni kui, kui, unacheke venye msu ugonga goa garlic. Yeah. Eh, sasa unaigongesha hivyo. Eh, unaicrush hapa kwa kwa hii mali hapa hapa chini. Sikutakuwa Okay. But of course, everyone has a dream. We are going to be astronauts. We are going to be president. So we are going to be NBA. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for the fish, so to make a basil, some um, lemon grass. We are going to be bonded here. We are going to be infused lemon. We are going to be infused lemon. We are going to be infused lemon. Naisi atuzipatangi kwa shop zuko wapi? Hii iko kwa mama mama mboga unapata. Mama mboga mkanjo depend on what the guy. So mtani kwa soko, acha tusomee soko. Eh. So hapa tuko na sage, ukipata fresh sage the better. Yeye kile atoa hapo chini. But since atuna tutai tutai coat tu nayo tu. Okay. Eh. Nika hapo. Some more. Na hii ni unatengeneza ina serving ya like how many people? Eh, uh, ina zenda watu wanne. Wanne. Eh. Watu wanne wenye wili ni wanne ama wanakula wana kula kuonja so kidogo. Sio unajua of course unajeka <laughs> tunacheza 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 tu kwa sapa. Eh, basi bayo. Tunacheza tu kwa so. Tunashiba tu. 
Sorry, hizo mandimo zetu tunazisunda hapa ndao. Chini. Mhm. Mm Kama kadha. Hizo msha fry. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm then we put some salt kama kawa. Kama una oven chef unaweza ipisha kwa stove. Hii sasa maybe mm. you use the poach the poach technique. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Some pepper, some rosemary. Kau kwa na fresh the better. Mhm. Aha. And then tunaeka ndimo zingine juu. Yeah. Tuto keto zote tu. Aha. Alafu, mhm. After that, kuna garlic hapa. Sasa hii garlic hatutaitoanisha venye mmezoea. Hii mnakatanga tu katikati hapa. Mm. Ata si lazima mm. ngozi. Mm. Oh, unaweza kana ngozi? Eh, light ngozi za tu. Sasa hak. Sasa hapa ndo mali unakuja unaifunga ka kipasa sasa. Okay, sanga shapa. Mm. Bring this here. Let's come up and go. Na kabla chef aendelee kufungia hiyo we've got our lovely cuts of uh, cookies there just basic cuts you can do square you can do round whatever you want to do we're going to pop that into the oven at 180 degrees or more depending on your oven just for a few minutes until they go nice and brown and that's that's it I chef unaeka hiyo pia ndani yes so you'll go for about 20 25 minutes. Okay, it yeah. takes that short. Yeah. For 180 degrees. Yeah. Na ita ita ivisha kabisa since tumeifunga sasa kuna space ndani so kuna hiyo steam sasa tu. Sasa ita ivisha tu yani nyama yote evenly. All right, chef tunaona putio zako ziko tayari kiasi. Utafanya nini na hiyo? Ah, that we're going to make with mash. Okay. Just the simple mash just to go with the with the fish. Yeah. Uh, I think we can start with the sauce. All right, so we're going to go to the sauce, but meanwhile guys, what I have here is about again more butter. I, I think I just love butter. Honestly, butter is everything when it comes to baking. And we're going to incorporate that into a lovely cream. Uh, so I'm just basically just creaming it until it becomes nice and soft. Mm -hmm. And then at this point um, is where you start to incorporate your icing sugar. So we've got our icing sugar. This is just a basic cream that I'm making that you can color it. We keep adding Oopsie. So you don't want to pour a lot of it. You just add your icing sugar into that, cream it up. And then I'm going to ask one of you lovely ladies to mix this. Go ahead. And then as that goes, be careful you don't mess yourself up. As that goes, you add your milk. Now the reason you add um icing, milk, butter is so that you can be able to moderate the amount of you know um milk you're putting in mm. because you don't want to make it too runny yeah okay. mm. all right continue giving that a lovely mix sorry and at the same time you want also not it for it not to be too buttery so you want to keep going just keep at it keep at it and you want to keep checking um your icing your milk because you do not want to make it too runny you want a nice stiff icing there and then what we're going to do is we're going to separate it look at that how creamy does that look uh we're going to go ahead and add just a bit more powder give that a mix that looks gorgeous And what you're doing is you're incorporating the butter, the milk, the icing, you know, because the icing will definitely melt. So this is a butter cream. This is just a butter cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a basic butter cream. Yeah. Is this the way you make your butter cream? Actually, I use whipping cream. Whipping cream, yeah, yeah a I lot. Mean, it's Bougie. easier too. Yeah. Cuz uniku kuhuai ku whip to alafu. Yeah, alafu tosha. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to add a little bit more, more milk. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Now as that is going we're just going to get it to the perfect consistency. Um let's go on a short break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. We are back and this is Hot Plate. Happy holidays to all of you and today joining us is two lovely ladies, uh, Robbie and Chico. Chico. 
Shiko shiguan zote. Shiguan, eh, yote ni ngumu lakini si usumbua se. Itakuma tu limi lakini ni sawa. Yes, yes, so we've already put our baked snapper kwa oven. Uh, Claire's already put her cookies. She's making now some... Cream. Some cream. Icing. For some icing for, for the cookies, for the decoration. Yes. And the potatoes are almost ready. So here the water is already boiling. We're going to make our hollandaise sauce, also known as Dutch sauce. Unojo ini, one of the five mothers of sauces. Yani, unojo ni ile tata sauce, nini, hizo zote, yani. So, yini lazima, yini, crucial. Eh, hiba, thank you. Water bath, ama bain mari. So, what I want to, nataka egg yolks, tatu, tafadhali. Egg yolks. Egg yolks peke yako, sinyeke egg whites. Kuna place neza tomboa ni toe white candle. Aha, that's true. She has a point there. Since ulza mwini baker. Yeah, this is my mom. She needs a bowl to put the other one, the egg whites separate and the egg yolks. You can use a cup. Nah. All right, you can go ahead and use this bowl just to separate them, yeah? Yeah, make a egg white, egg yolks up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate some of this, uh, this buttercream that we've made here because we're going to color it different colors. And this helps you, you know, if guys want to decorate their cookie, they can go ahead and do so easily, right? All right, I'm going to add one here and put green. So you can go ahead and do different colors. You can put green, red, and just spread them apart so that everybody can be able to pick the colors that they want. And of course, I'm going to leave some white as well. Straight into that bowl. Looks lovely. How are we doing there with the breaking? Perfect. Perfect, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get another egg. All right, now guys, you want to remember to keep checking on the cookies. You do not want to burn them. Um, so the fan is on on this, which is great. We have 180. That's perfect. Mm. Chef, how are we doing with that, uh, the potatoes? Okay, the potatoes are almost. So they take a minute. Yeah. Lafu. We can start with the sauce. Okay. While the potatoes are going, because Sorry. you can finish with that, because we'll take a kulapia mash baridi. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. All right, so I'm using the powdered. Um, you can use the liquid is better to use when you're doing food coloring for some some uh, for icing. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the fact that sorry, because of the fact that the powdered um, the powdered coloring food coloring tends to have a very salty taste. So you want to keep that away uh, when you're using it in creams. Use the liquid coloring, it's always best. But for the sake of just showing you guys, I'm going to go ahead and just color it with, uh, with the red powder. The plastic bottle. Chef, what is that that you're doing? Just separating the egg whites from the egg yolks with the bottle. Okay. So what you want to do? Koroga too, kapsa. Unaza niongeza mae tafadhali. Ko fridge. Oh, ko fridge. Yeah. Unaza leti yo ndimu. Yes, on here. Ndimu. Apa ko fridge badu. Yeah, yes. Ah, get the grater. Ah, the ndimu over here. Unai grate yapa some rind apa kiasi. Inside? Yeah. So, cut a cut 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 and juices. Another egg. Yeah, just yes, this one. Okay, now nah, this that one. This one is one enough. Be fine. Yes. So, these YouTube hacks are really true. These YouTube hacks do work. Eh. Aha. Eh. Chupa, una, una. Una kafi, una brutandani. Eh. Yeah, you want this? Not that stressy one. Yes. So, come to more gandani. This half of it will be fine. So, can you not And you can make sure you make a I mayai like for about four minutes. Adi yenze kuwa thick. Yenze kuwa? Thick. Oh. Don't eat and don't. Ah, kosa. So I can mix the two. Okay. I'm gonna mix. This one can do something magical later. So you you have to keep like. Yes. Eh, you you fake we watcha. Kia chita na kupika. Ita koka scrambled eggs and otaki ivo. So you always have to keep watching it and of course keep mixing it at the same time, yeah? Yes, yes. 
All right, that looks lovely. Now you've got water boiling there. You're increasing the heat. Mm. Uh, what else are you going to add there, chef? So we're going to melt some butter. Yeah. If you may, do you have still some small butter? Yeah, we do. Yes. Now they melt here. Koi ni malitu lfanyandimo. Mhm. Ita ngeza tu your flavor. Mhm. And then we'll just add pole pole because okay. you, you you don't want to add a, a large lump. Why? It's just. Now, mm -hmm. the salt, even when you cook, this is what you want. The and then when you add the butter, it turns out thick sauce of sauce. Okay. And why does that do that, chef? Hmm? Why the does butter it... just helps the flavoring okay. and also thickening the eggs with sauce. But also with the juices of the lemon. You remember when you made a lemon tart? Yeah. Uh -uh. Clear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> she, watched, she watched it. She watched I watched it. it. So yeah. I really imagine it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, I love it. So, I love it. But I want to give you a chance to cook it. The consistency is not a Yes. So, I'm going to get it. In goes the butter now. Now, also, you can use uh, vegetable oil. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is pole pole too. Just and fine. this works perfectly. I'm going to get it processed. Okay. I'm going to get it. It's funny about cooking it. Yeah. Chakulina take like one hour, 30 minutes yeah. preparation. Yeah. Na like five minutes. And then like na five minutes. True. So it's but so those painful. five minutes are so worth it. Even if you bake, I'll show you how to I'm going to show you how to recipes you cook for five hours. I'm going to marinate the day before. Yeah. yeah. It is so worth it because the flavors that are incorporated in that is just so delicious. Huh? And this is one of them. Now, Chef, mm. what are we looking for? More eggs? Yeah. Uh, no. Or milk? A lemon. Lemon. Mm, because I want it to be a bit, not too thick. Not too thick. Yes. All bit right. Bit. So a little bit more lemon is going into that, guys. And we still have our potatoes going on there. Our cookies look just about done. They smell delicious. Can you guys smell the cookies? Yeah. It's just like, oh my gosh, so beautiful. <laughs> now, Chef, uh, how is uh, your thingy baking? I want to move mine to the top so I can get the perfect brown. All right, now I'm just going to shift this up so I can, like, will it fit, Chef? Okay, Maybe the top one, yeah? Just so that I can get the perfect brown on those cookies on top. But meanwhile, don't move. We are coming right back. So, guys, you can see the consistency is absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. We have the thickness that you need. Now, Chef, what's up with Nini? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. What's up with fish? Yeah. Napia, as, as I said, he will say that you have eggs benedict. Ah, yeah. yeah. All right, meanwhile, well, that is happening, guys. We have the cookies straight out of the oven. Now, we had made some, uh, you know, some uh, decorative pieces. What is it called? Some cream that we had made earlier. Uh, now, you guys can go ahead and have a seat as Chef is going to tell you what to, what to do next. But meanwhile, what I am going to do is offer you guys plates. You can go ahead and pick a cookie. And then... Um, I'll spoon some of the white one in here, and then you go ahead and decorate as you please. So, what do you mean? You whipped cream? Yeah. Now, what do decorate with Vipi? Piping bags, too. Pa piping bags. Yeah. So, you know the trick where you have to put it in a cup, but this one is not in a And, of course, guys, we have shown you the trick on how to use the uh, these uh, papers for packaging food as a piping bag. You just snip the end and put the tip there, and it works just Perfect. All right, so I'm going to try and get just a little bit of that cream straight into the piping bag. It's easier to put it in a cup, open it up, and then, you know, just release all that goodness down there. So I'm just going to push it to the bottom because it's very little. All right, so do you guys have an idea of what you're going to do to your cookie? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. you do. All right, so we'll start with you then. Yeah. All right, we'll start. Whoop! Has that, my soda. Has that gone into your soda? It's okay, more sugar with sugar. All right, go ahead and grab a cookie and then get as creative as possible with that piping bag. Remember, you've got more colors right in front of you. I'm going to give you a spoon so that you can go ahead and even do more with uh, the rest. <laughs> and we also have some, uh, what is it called? We've got some jelly beans. And you can get creative, get some chocolate bits, you know. Just get as creative as possible. You can start with these other ones. Actually, I will be decorating one as we go ahead. Chef, hmm. how much longer do we have and what are you doing with that, uh, with the potatoes? Okay, so I just added some butter. Yeah. Some milk, kidogo. Yeah. Just to soften it. Okay. And then I'm mash too. Yeah. Just depending on how creamy you want your potatoes. Okay. 
Uh, the sauce, I've added some garlic powder. Yeah. Some Yanni. black pepper. Sana. And the fish is already ready in Shaito. Okay. Yeah, it's just serving now. It's just serving. Yeah. All right, now, Chef, the fish has cooked in its own juices. Mm. I can't wait to try that. Now, are you going to remove the um, lemon greek that's in there? The, what is it called again? Sorry. The lemongrass? Lemongrass. Yes, the lemongrass. Uh, yes, yes, of its purpose. So okay. it's a too. Now, you want to remember that lemongrass cannot be enjoyed uh, because it's very hard. Mm. So you want to make sure that you take that out once it's served its purpose, like Chef is saying. And, you know... And, and then serve. just take it out and throw it out and then just serve. All right, so we got a little bit of the white and you can get just you can make yours less runny. I made this one just a little bit runny. So you can make yours less runny just to make sure you get that perfect shape that you're looking for uh, when you're dealing with your cream. All right, so that looks about right. And then guys, have fun with this. Put some sprinkles, some chocolate. Like, just get as creative as possible with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab... I need to grab a fork. But what I'll do is I'll grab a little peek. Where is that? This little brush right here. And kind of just, like, mellow out those colors together. There you go. That looks about right. Nice. Looks amazing. Thank you. How are we doing there, ladies? Trying. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> I've never worked with anything um, runny before. Yeah. Uh, and and so. I'm not good with art. <laughs> <laughs> but that's too. the fun bit. You can just get as creative as possible. Like, it's absolutely fine to, you know, not have it perfect. That looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Not have it perfect. All right, Chef, so is it about that time where we get to sample the food? Yes, it is. All right. Sweet. Gonna go ahead and just add, is there, is there any left in here? Yes, there is, okay. Just gonna add some dots. Just to that cookie, just to finish it up. And again, guys, it's just a fun activity that you can all do at the table as you, you know, as you finish your meal off, have some nice hot cocoa with these cookies absolutely gorgeous and then i'm going to ask you ladies to go ahead and have a bite let me know what you think because remember we put whole ginger instead of the ginger powder so i'm going to taste that without the icing first and we put some sesame seeds in there as well mm. <laughs> the fun bit the favorite part of the show right <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think can you pick out the ginger? Can you pick out the sesame seeds? Um, for the ginger part? Yeah. Yeah, kombali. But sesame, mm -mm. Not really, not yeah? Not really. All right, but and but you? How benefit. about you? Honestly, yeah. I'm not good with flavor. <laughs> 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 but would you enjoy this cookie yeah, easily? Course, and it's yeah. how easy is it to make? It's easy and yeah. economical. Exactly. Yeah. And um, to monya jaona ki kwa prepared. Yeah. Can't point out that ka ka flavor. Mm. Yeah. So me, I think you mona ginger ki ako. Exactly. Yeah. Ndio neza i pick. But if you prefer more ginger in your ginger cookies, then feel free to go ahead and just pour all the ginger in there. Of course, put some powdered ginger in there as well. It works just fine. All right. Now I can see Chef has opened that fish. Sao nafanya nini? Hmm. Unatwa unatwa nini? Ah, so I uh, rosemary. The excess. rosemary. Uh, Why? Do you want rosemary on the way? <laughs> <laughs> so should I get this? Um, uh. I think this would be better, Chef. Gani? Just this to be able to get a nice, lovely piece. Yes. Yeah. Please. So just scrape. Um, you want to scrape out? Uh, just that's take said, out. That's why I said it's proper to use the uh, whole rosemary. Rosemary instead of the flakes. Yeah. Because then you want to start removing the um, the rosemary leaves out yeah, after. It's a bit messy. You want to just take out all that rosemary. Um, actually, use the whole branch if possible. Yes, that's the stems usually on. best. Nee, nee. Yeah. Look at how perfectly cooked that fish is. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. Was that garlic that went in there as well? Garlic, yes. So it's soaked in all those flavors but and then it's just married perfectly. Mm. All right, now definitely looks beautiful. And then comes the sauce. Now this sauce we made earlier on, 
a chef called it the hollandaise sauce um and of course you can be able to catch up on the process that's online uh that's on ebru tv hot plate that's on youtube just to be able to see what we did to that sauce and how it came to this consistency don't miss a step it's very important because you're working with egg so you want it's very delicate and can get it can cook and it can become lumpy so you want to keep mixing it like chef said yes all right so that creamy mashed potato is going right on top a beautiful serving and then where do you put the sauce chef sauce you just put it on top of the fish on top of the fish yes. so straight on top of the fish chef is just making sure that the consistency is perfect mm -hmm. and then what you want to do is just drizzle that right on top yes drizzle that right on top all right so on to the plate goes the fish sauce the hollandaise sauce sorry and then the ladies will be telling us what they think about this and i love the fact that it's fish so it's healthy <laughs> it's good for you know our sportsmanship yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for the sportsmen uh, yeah. out there and, and and it's baked so yeah. you don't have any fat incorporated in there uh, vegetables yeah, yeah. greens nini yeah anything all right please go ahead and pass this and then we'll go ahead and pass this and then let us know what you think I have been waiting for this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Just in case. If you need some salt, you can go ahead and add some salt. Make sure you get a little bit of the sauce as well in there. Um, you know, and just bite through. Wow. What? Yes? I'm not going to do it for daily. It's nice. It's, yes. it's, it's either we come here daily. Oh, we go with you guys at home. <laughs> 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 All right, ladies. So thank you so much for joining us on the show. And of course, um, you know, keep us posted on what activities you'll be doing next. Congratulations on your new venture. Thank you and so keep much. growing it because women in sports just need to come out there some mm. more. Yeah. All right, Chef. Yeah. Good so job on the fish. Said, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight, guys. Do make sure you check out their series. That is. Girls talking sports. Girls talking sports. Yeah. And of course, support them. And if you're out there and you do know where to get some of this equipment that the ladies need, then mm. feel free to help us fellow Kenyans. Um, enjoy cooking this festive season. And of course, keep it healthy and keep it locked on hot plate. That, um, good night from me. I'm Claire Karatu. And I'm Chef Bennett. <laughs> Bye, guys. Happy holidays. <laughs>